So guys, here we go. My new knife's turned up. My new pocket knife. If you'd like to call it that. Let me just bring you up and I'm going to go sit your bum down now. So, Tim, Tim Deerham, you asked me to do a little video when this turns up, I know you're a fan of Buka, the Deutsch brand, and uh, yeah, before I moved out here, been out here nine years now, I was, uh, I wouldn't be seen dead without one of these when I was in the field, this brand anyway. <laughs> I don't know, I thought it was a bit tacky moving out here and look at me, I'm strolling around and got me buka, you know, being living there in Germany. But, uh, yeah, uh, the past few months, I've lost a couple of knives, guys. <coughs> One way or another. So, uh, I was overdue getting a new knife. So what I've gone for, is I've gone back to Ma Magnum by Buka. Have you seen? It's the Magnum Advance 5. It's not a one hand opener, so it ain't got no thumb flipper on it. It's just straight. It's a Magnum Advance 5 in, um, what does it say on here? The Advance 5 is in desert. It don't say on the front. It's in desert. So let me open her up. I've opened her up and took the plastic off of her and had a little feel of it. She comes with a Care, little leaflet. Is it in English for you? There's it in Deutsch if you want to go. Do Excuse me, if you want to go Deutsch, it's there. There it is in English. It's just like, thank you for your support. Since 1869, we have been manufacturing innovative knives by hand in Solingen. Today, a traditional German manufacturer, we have to compete with international corporations who primarily manufacture using machine technology. This just gives you the in, in, little bits of uh, information about Magnum by Buka itself, because they are Buka knives. Magnum is just um, a name of the, a brand of their, you know, the name brand there. They are Buka, end of. It's got a little care instructions. Please note there. This tells you a knife is a cutting tool. Logically. Not a screwdriver, lever tool, chisel, hammer or crowbar. <laughs> we all know that, right? It's a folder, guys. <laughs> right? So it's a pocket knife. Keep the blade of the knife sharp. Clean the blade with water. After each use, I don't know how many actually do that. It's probably a bit load saying on the YouTube, yeah, I'll do that, I'll do that. Yeah, of course you do. Dry the blade carefully after cleaning. That's logical. Oil the blade of the knife regularly. Oil the mechanisms of the knife, knife regularly and keep them free from dirt. Some pocket knives have a clip. This clip is not intended to be attached to the belt. And many of us do that. I'll tell you the truth, I've done it. That's how I just lost one of mine. I've just lost 40, 45, 46 pounds worth of knife, something like that. Some pocket knives have this clip, yeah. This clip, I'm gonna read this again. This clip is not intended to be attached to your belt, but is used to attach the knife to the pants pocket, to your jeans pocket, to your trousers pants. Brits, can you imagine running around in the woods in your pants carrying a knife? <laughs> you get arrested for having knives over a certain size, let alone having them walked on your pants. But there you go, they're following that American term there, aren't they, you know? 
Right, so you don't have it on your pants, guys. It goes on your pants pocket. Clip pointing outwards. So basically, here's your clip. That goes on your outside when you slip it in your back pocket. That stays on the outside. But anyway, let's have a look at her. This is a desert. That's what it's called. It hasn't got it written on this box for some reason. It's from the advanced range. <clears throat> She's got a back clip there. She's uh, the advanced five in desert. I'll tell you the truth. She's very light. She's a, a pull out opener. She's not a thumb spinner, but obviously you can. Razor sharp, it's a 440 still. Yeah, 440C on there. Don't know if you can see that. She's original, she's not made in China. Um, bought off a of wish. They are made in China, but they're not bought off a of wish. She fills ears. It's rubber. Or it feels, yeah, it feels, feels like it's rubber. It's very light. It's nicely balanced, as ever, from Buka. It is a nice little knife. Obviously, Tim, my friend, it's a lineal locker, as you can see in there. I'm guessing about a three inch, a two and a half inch blade for a pocket knife. The only thing that would not make that legal is always the logical things in the UK laws. Is um, She's a lock knife. We all know now in the UK, it don't matter if it's a two and a half inch blade, the size of your thumb, the cutting edge should be. Well, that's just over the size of my thumb, so I'd say it's about three inch. Let me clean my dirty mitts off her already. So, yeah, she's light. She's very sharp. I've already gone like this. Manufacturer's sharpness. I think that would do a bunny or any other game, any little task at the moment that it would be used for. I think I will be unscrewing them three screws and taking this clip off. I'm not one really for them. It does come with the fairly heavy duty. It's double, double lined on the back, not the front obviously. It's more pliable, but it it's rather solid. The patch for it. Let me shut it down. Like I say, it's just a push to the side there, and she shuts. No rattling. Like I say, I've had her out of the package already. I, she was in a plastic and obvious pouch. It's basic standard, runs through your belt. It's a belt loop pouch. It's a, uh, yeah. It's a tough bit of Velcro on the front there. So you'll get a good use out of it, opening it and closing it and everything. And what can I really say? I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm liking how light it is. I've just got Sabina's just bought herself a new locking knife. This was, I think, about 23 euros, and it come with this. A lot of knives these days, you don't even get a pouch with them. See, that's how I lost my last one, is I didn't have a pouch with it. So this, I know, once I use this, this is going straight back in its pouch. Smooth action. If you've ever owned a Buka, you will know that their their knives are always nice and smooth. It's nice. I'm liking the feel of it. I think by the end of this year, or going into the beginning of next year, I will be stepping up and getting myself a new um, fully tang, more like a tactical survival sort of knife. I'll be going, obviously I will go, now I will stay back with Buka like I was before I moved out to Germany nine years ago. I've always been a fan of their blades, believe it or not. But yeah, I'm going to go for, um, it's, uh, it's another Magnum by Buka. It's, uh, I'm sure it was full tang when I looked at it. Don't get me, you know, don't get me twisted, it might not be. But it looked full tang to me when I just had a quick nose through on the <laughs> on the internet and it's um what was it called uh, i think it's desert pro 2.0 i 
Now that comes with a belt loop attachment on the sheath, but it also came with two straps that go around your leg. So it's a bit more like tummy cut, I suppose you'd find in a Commando movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger. But yeah, there it is, Tim. There's not a lot to say on it. It ain't every duty as the Brutus. Or the Brute, I think they call it here in Deutschland. It's nice. It's light. It's, you know, I don't know what I was expecting from it. But definitely, I didn't expect it to be the angle-wise as light as what it is, guys. Truth. But, uh, yeah, if, if you've ever owned it, if the blade goes right away, look. Cutting edge goes right to there. I don't know, it's like a standard thickness, I suppose, the Bruder. There's your name, look, I don't even have to go like that up there. That's your booger. Your 440 C's here. It's even written on, written on there, written on there. Oh my God. But yeah, that's my new one, guys. So, no doubt I'll probably get a few questions on it after I've used it a few times and seeing how I'm getting on with it. Obviously, I'll let you know. If I lose it, I'll let you know. <laughs> Do you know, the funny thing is, right, it's the only knife I never ever lost was a Magnum Booger. And now I'm back at it. I've actually, I lost, um, what do they call that? I lost a world carry. Thought you had something euros worth a knife. And I tell you the truth, see them world carries? Who is it that makes them? The Danish crew, the Danish firm. Can't think their name. See that? World legal. That's it. World legal, yeah. That world legal looks lovely. Looks a nice tool. But it's uncomfortable. Gets a little bit damp. And if you don't clean it, it rusts straight up. Trust me, it rusted straight up. I had to clean it like a good one. It was only left downstairs under a <clears throat> sheltered area. There's a little bit of damp in the air overnight. I went out and, oh shit, me and my knife's out there in the morning. Excuse me, language. Went out there, picked it up, opened it up, and I see there was a blemish starting to come with rust. So see them at 40 odd sheets and you don't even get a cover for them and it rusted, it started to rust as quick as that. Swerve them guys, swerve them. Williamson, Williamson, there the guys. See that world legal? Don't bother with it. Any of you guys out there want to get a knife, leave that world legal well alone. It's not worth the money. And it's definitely not worth the money to lose one. Let alone it start getting rust patches on it and you've got to constantly, constantly be on top of the knife, you know. That ain't what you want. You want a little workhorse. So what I've done is, is I've waited now. I've done a few months without having a small knife with me. And I just, you know, I've gone back to Booger. Booker. Whichever way they want to put it. Well, that's what I've gone back to, guys. There you go, there, Tim. It's got a lovely smooth action. I'll show you again, Tim. I know you love them, Tim. Clicks into place there from the lineal lock. Look, just, it's not hard. It's solid out. She shuts down well. Smooth action. Give her a little push to get her in there. She's a funny old shape, this part here. It's not for window breaking, glass breaking or whatever. Yeah, that's... That's how she's made, guys. That, that's my new pocket knife. Which shall be on my belt. And will be going everywhere that it's on a pair of trousers with me. So, guys, I'm back. It's Mooch 73. Uh, I've got a little video coming up in a little while as well. I've got this week off of work. If anybody wants to know, by the way, here you go. You've got uh, www.booker.com dot de if you want to look at booker directs yeah if you want to look on their website you could get them in the usa you can get them everywhere germany uk everywhere but if you want to go direct to booker 
have a look at their online shop you want www.bukar.de don't worry about it all being in diets because as we all know in this modern technology it bomb you can hit that union jack flag and convert it all over to english they do some lovely knives i will vouch for bukar even though i haven't had one for nine years what i know of bukar and how i've used them I used to use a Buka, right, this sort of size, she was, was a skeleton. And I used to use a Buka, it's probably a little bit smaller actually. It had, it had a bit of a, more of a raised belly on the blade. I don't know what to call it, I don't know whether this is a drop point or more of a spear point. Oh, I don't know all that malarkey. But anyway, I had one skeleton, a few of my family members used to see me use it a lot. And uh... I used to break down a full carcass with that. <laughs> Hardly ever needed sharpening. They maintain such a good edge. It's in Deerham. Deerham, whichever way you want to put it, brother. You know what I'm talking about when it comes to Buka maintains a good edge on a blade. I've cut down deer, fallow deer. I've broke down full carcasses. Four, six, maximum, yeah, about six. A week and I'm not just talking about skinning it I'm talking I've broken down I've gone through the, the, the hip joints and so and just use the blade running around I can spin them once I get used to using this weight not that I do Bambi much anymore but that's all I need see I don't even need that I don't even need that one hand opener because I can do it one handed anyway Right, that's our smooth action now with these blades. So there you have it. Tim, hope you enjoyed my little video, brother. Anyway, Mooch73, I'm out. I've got you another one coming up in a little while, guys. Where uh, I'm riding to work as I do, as you ain't, if you ain't noticed yet, I'll ride to work five days a week. I'm doing, what's that work out? 20 kilometres. That includes a few hills on the way, guys. It ain't just flat land. And um, I'll stop off down by a bridge around about 20 past 6 or so in the morning. And uh, <laughs> I've got you some footage coming up, some raccoons, while I was sitting at the bridge. I'm also going to chuck on a little bit of footage from that same spot, but on the left-hand side where I usually sit. Free road there, a doe and her two fawns. Not obviously tiny, because of the time of year they're, they're much bigger now. And uh, to believe it or not, three days in a row, I had the raccoons, then I spooked the three road deer. You'll, you'll probably catch them in the footage when you watch them on TV better. Don't forget, it was done on an Andy on the mobile, so it was quite far away, so I tried to zoom in. And yesterday, actually, <laughs> Walter Vole. Once he goes up on the TV, I think he'll be swimming up on the left-hand side of the river. You might make him out. But anyway, I'm going to knock that video together in a little bit. First up is this one. This is, like I say, guys, this is the Magnum Booker. It's all on the box. There you go. Magnum Booker, advance. This is this is what we're at now. This is where I'm going with this. This is Schwartz and Coyote, guys. So to you, that's black, logically. It's an Advance 5 Coyote. They actually call it the Desert, but on there it says on the on the uh, manufacturers with the barcode there, it says Schwartz and Coyote. Yeah, I don't know if you'll be able to see that on there. But anyway, there you go. Bing bong, I'm gone. Squeeze taters. Mooch 73 on that. Uh, I'm off all week. I'm off on holiday. So... I'm going to be out and about. I'm going to have my phone with me. I'm no doubt going to get a couple of camps in this week. I'm not sure when, but there should be some. There should be some um, content coming up from the channel either way. So I'm going to have a little play with my knife this week. I'm going to get out with my sog flings. I'm going to get some throwing done tomorrow. Sabina leaves for Ireland tomorrow as well. I'm staying here for a week. I'm staying at home with the dog. And uh, yeah, I'll be out guys, videos are coming up, had a lot going on, oh another thing, what did I want to say, 
from when I got stung the other week when I was out camping and I got stung by a wasp and I jacked the video off because I was rather peed. Uh, yeah, big shout out to, um, what's his name there, Wandering Fox. Cheers, brother. Thanks for send, sending me this in. I've got the other one and the, um, the other two items that you sent me. Loving these. Loving these. There's this one and the one that's black coated. Yeah, I see the screw on the other ones that I ain't maintaining very well, but I'll find something I can fix that up with. But yeah, thank you very much for the little little package you sent me in, Wandering Fox. Well appreciated, fella. Only one's wondering what my book is in front of me. There you go. That's where I look through a lot of kit. I also use um, Bundeswehr und Mia, which means the German army and more. Bundeswehr is the German army. This is the Bundeswehr online shop. I don't know. You could you could probably get in touch with them. That's all you put in on the internet and you could probably get them to send you over a catalogue to the UK. You can just go on there. You've got everything in here, guys. Everything is in this book, right? There's for bushcrafting, there's for security, there's the stoves, the essentials, you've got all sorts, as you can see, this, this covers kit, like, I don't know, you've got your two quarts by Miltech bottles in there, you've got loads of water systems, holders, and there's ration packs, German ration packs, there's the old, yeah, this is the stuff, get yourself some of that, if you guys can get hold of any of that, I'll tell you what, that's one hell of a sugar rush. That is the stuff that comes in an original um, MRE for the Bundeswehr. That is Shocker Cola. You get the um, the red is your milk chocolate, full milk, yeah? And then you've got your Zart Bitter, which is dark chocolate. Get the blue and white one, guys. Honestly, they're banging. I sent a few in a couple of years ago for my son. And yeah. Because he was, or still is, he was doing the air cadets. And I was doing ration packs. I said, I'll send you something in, son. I'll send you some chocolate in. Yeah, you get your, you get your one-man bivvies, your tents. So, yeah, anyway, like I was saying, I sent him in, um, I sent him in some of that Bundeswehr MRE chocolate. And, uh, yeah, he liked it. You'll get your, um, paracords in here. You'll get your tents. See the price of these? Look at this. I can't believe it. One fifty nine, right? There's my bivy. My hoop bivy. I paid one twenty for mine. In here, this is an old catalogue there. Bear in mind. I looked on their site the other day. And they've gone up. Right? Since I bought mine in winter time. I haven't even... Well, winter time. I haven't even had it a year yet. It's winter coming up. It'll be a year old. They're now 179 euro. I said it, guys. I said it in my video. Watch my video when I stayed out and it, it chucked down. That's a DEFCON 5. When I bought mine, it was 120. In here, it's 149.90. Now you go on the site, it's 179. You've got your Corinthians in here. They're, they're, that's going on my list. But I won't buy it by brand. I'm getting a tack vest like that one up there. But I'm not going to get it from Brandy. I'm going to go with the company, uh, Anton Blockle. You've got your mags, your dump patches. It's, look, there's bags. There's socks. There's so many different types of gloves. It's worth having a look on their site, guys. It is worth having a, a look on their site. You can convert it all over to English. Even with the shipping, if you get a few things off of them, you know, look. There's boots, masks, valleys, caps, all different. Where's that just gone? You've got all your tactical belts. There's all sorts in here, guys. These are one hell of a handy team. One company. There's Leo Cola. There's Alpha Industries. There's full Bundeswehr. Miltech versions and the original Bundeswehr t-shirts and... So there you go, anyway, I'm out in this video, I'm done. Like I say, I'm out this week. Wandering Fox 1, big shout, brother. Tim Deeran, big shout, fella.
catch us shortly. All have a good and stay safe. Move 73, like I said, bing bong, squeeze you later. Yeah.